Well, it's 7 in the morning, and I'm getting ready to leave my babies and go back home. And, of course, it is quiet. Now, I don't really want to leave them, but they're getting ready to go to church. And, um, I got to take this long drive. Pretty soon, everything will be back in its place where it needs to be. And my babies will be at home with Mama. And they will not be on the internet to all these snakes in the grass. And you can't never be happy, but thank God for this beautiful Sunday. I'm getting ready to head down the road. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the video. I'll see you guys down the road. Ooh, this seat's soaking wet. Driving on the road and almost got hit by a damn car because he want to swerve in my lane. People crazy, bro. And my windows look dirty. Can't really see nothing out them darn windows unless it's that's unless that's a fog. Ain't nobody on the road, yo. This is the best time in the mornings to take a drive. Early in the morning when I think about you. <laughs> No, can I get a large Coke, extra ice, and the two for two hash browns with ketchup? Um, and let me, uh, that yeah, that's it. For that's the first order. Three seventy three. Go have a second order. Um, let me get the two for two. She, she want the two for two hash browns. No, the no, the two for two is the hash browns and the sausage biscuit. She want the two for two, the hash brown and the sausage biscuit. Can y'all can can y'all um y'all can y'all cook them hash browns cook to order? Yes, ma'am. And you want you wanted Okay, you said you wanted you want two hash browns and the sausage biscuit or you want the sausage biscuit? The sausage the biscuit and the hash brown. And then she want a fruit punch. Sorry about that, love. And we all the first order and the second order. We want both of those um hash browns drop. It's not a real weight. Is not a problem. And that'll be it. I think she probably tells us to drive around. Yeah, that's it. First time they gave me leftover hash brown. I had to take it back this first time. This is good. Oh, I miss my baby. I know she's gonna wake up crying. This is one of my when I bust my cup up. I know Nana gonna be mad. She just went. She ain't gonna see her mama face. Oh my god. Her heart gonna be broken. It's gonna feel like how I felt when my mama um when we woke up when we was at my grandma's house. And my mama wasn't there. I cried a whole day. So I'm gonna call her on messenger right now, matter of fact, and talk to her. Cause I know she we slept together. She had a bad dream twice. She jumped up twice on her seat. She screamed, Mama, Mama. I said, I'm right here. So it's hard on a mother. A real mother at that. Give me on head on down the road, y'all. All right, y'all. I'm riding down this road. The sun is out a little bit. Down here talking now your head off. <laughs> I know she probably ready to go back to sleep. Me personally, I probably be up walking through the house or doing something when I get up in there. I know I ain't gonna go to sleep. That sun in my face, I can't see nothing. God damn. That thing looks bright. But I know I ain't gonna wind up going back to sleep when I get in, in the house. I'm probably wind up gonna stay up. Cause I can't stand being without my babies. And I know for one thing, once this case closed, it's gonna be family orientation things going on on my YouTube so I can make money. Um, People don't understand how hard it is in life sometimes. I'm 
sometimes I put my life on the line for certain things or I do certain things and I think about the consequences behind it. But at the end of the day, you know, I feel like I still ain't do nothing wrong, showing my life to the world and trying to live, you know what I'm saying? Trying to make money to feed my kids. Like, I only, only people I got in my life in my corner right now is my kids. My sister, she here, you know, she, she finally stepped up and call and we talk more. But I don't have nobody. You know, I don't have family. I only just got me and my kids here. And it, it, it's hard to to trust family, you know what I'm saying? Because the ones that you call your family ain't your family. They'll be the one that stab you in the back. But anyways, if it wasn't for mama to take my kids in, I don't know what I would do. Not my real mama. Somebody who I call mama, I love to death. I thank God for her to be alive and breathing, to step in again to do what she got to do to take care of my babies. Laying down last night next to Nana made me thought about a lot. Like, shit, if I ain't had her, I don't know where my kids would have been. You got to thank God for the people that he bring into your life. Certain ones, because, you know, all of them ain't good. They're always a bad apple in the bunch. But anyways, I'm driving out this long damn road, still thinking and talking and just wondering what was going on with everything in my life. And how time is flying by so fast. I thought it was going to go by slow, but it's going fast. Um, H.J. birthday is um, Sunday. Papa birthday is Saturday. And I want my boys to be together, so I'm going to try to contact him when see if he be able to um, bring H.J. down so him and Papa can spend their birthdays together like they do every year. Just about every year. But, um, don't y'all forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the video. And don't forget to watch the ads. And it's around 8 o'clock in the morning, bruh. And I'm up. And it's still foggy out here. Let me let y'all see the road. And I'm going to go ahead and end this video. See you guys later. All right, y'all. See how foggy it is out here? You know what's spooky at nighttime? When it's nighttime outside and you got to look straight ahead at the top of the hill up there? It's spooky scary. I hate driving at night. But it's foggy. It's Sunday morning. It's foggy. But again, y'all, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the video. The main thing I need y'all to do is watch the ads wash those ass. See you guys later. Look at that shit. Spooky, right?